We will begin setting up DES by configuring the data storage options. Each project can have a root path. If it doesn't exist, DS will create it for you. You can also browse for the directory. Notice how DS has automatically filled in the root part of the directory structure. Now we'll edit the subdirectories. DS stores data as recordings by the user's interaction. When not storing specific data recordings, DS can store data continuously to monitor files just in case something unexpected happens. We'll turn them off for the purposes of this demonstration. Now we'll set up the system. The first step is to define what hardware device will be used. To switch from hardware devices from the simulator, click on Mode. Two options are available with different real-time monitoring features depending on the licensing. We'll select AD plus Engineering since we'll show how to set up an engineering plot in another video. The device drop-down shows a list of available installed drivers. View our previous video to see how to install drivers. Scroll through the list of drivers and find the hardware that you need. We'll install the National Instruments 9234 AD module. It is a four-channel card perfect for demonstration purposes. DS has automatically filled out that there are four channels available for this card. Next, we'll set the device options. Here we need to define a device number, which usually corresponds to a slot in the chassis. Our demonstration is using a USB carrier, so the device is DEV1. Click the plus sign to add it to the configuration. You can add multiple devices up to the license channel count. Now we'll set up the channels. Now select the channels tab. Notice that DS has added the four channels. You'll need to know which signal is attached to each channel. This is a matter of knowing the physical wiring of the sensor to the device you are using. Our first three channels are AC coupled strain gauge signals. Since they are common, we can set them all up together. DS will automatically increment the signal names. Each one needs to be unique. Next we change the units and scales. Finally we set the AC coupling. Our last signal is used for tachometer processing to measure speed. We'll set the signal type to speed, change the header name to N1, and then change the units and range. DS will decode the analog input signal and turn it into a speed value internally. You'll need to know what kind of speed signal you are using. And that's it. You click done and DS will store your setup to the project name you created. This same procedure is used regardless of the hardware device that you have. There are some minor differences with respect to the device settings, but overall the process is the same. The next video will show you how to use DS for real-time monitoring. If you need any additional information, please refer to the DS help documentation or contact us at info at apexturbine.com.